Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Redemption Week on House of Games 4. Contestants who've been here before, who hadn't won before. One of them, though, has won three shows in a row. Talk about redemption. That's over redemption, if anything. Who's going to win this trophy tomorrow? We've got an inkling, but you never know. Things can change. Our players this week are Glenn Moore, <laughs> Michael Burke, Tanya Moore, and Kate Humble. Welcome one, welcome all. Guys, three wins in a row for Glenn. Yeah. Not yeah. bad going. Can we stop him, do we think? We're going to try to. Said You've, that without you... a hint of sincerity. <laughs> 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 We're going to try. Hopeless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tanya is nothing if not a realist. Yes. Uh, Michael. A romantic realist. Exactly. But Michael, if we take a look at the weekly leaderboards, you're doing OK. So Glenn, of course, is at the top with three wins. Yeah. But you're second, only three points behind. We've got double points Friday as well. I would love one of the three of you, at least, to win a prize this week. That's the point of Redemption Week, mm -hmm. to get yeah. you on that leaderboard. But Glenn, it's been really impressive quizzing a big win every oh, single day. Um, how's the pressure? It's really getting to me. <laughs> I feel how, really nervous. How have they been with you since the, the run of victories? Uh, kind of five, been, you know, it's all been very convivial and nice. And then as soon as we step off set, we're like, don't let it happen again. <laughs> but no, it's all been very nice and friendly. <laughs> um, there are prizes. Glenn has won three so far. He gave a uh, deck chair to Tanya yesterday. Um, but let's take a look at today's prizes, shall we? You could be walking away with one of these. There's the coffee cup, the eye mask, the compost bin, the wheelie luggage, and the egg house of all things. Glenn, what would you go for? It's got to be the suitcase. suitcase. That's, it feels like the most iconic one. And I, I did some gigs in Norway a few weeks ago with uh, the comedian Chloe Petz, who's been on this show, and has won the suitcase and brought it with her. She took it with her. And the amount of people who stopped her and said, where did you get one of those? No. That's and she cool. was like, well, I won it. And they were like, how did you, how did you win it? And yeah. she was like, from, the, from this show. And this was Norway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do we get on this house? Yeah. <laughs> I was so envious, and I really yeah. want one for myself. You're one of the few stand-up communities who does not have one. That is, yeah. that is definitely true. Michael, what would you go for? Uh, does it include the eggs? Do you know what? If you win today, yeah. if you beat Glenn today, yeah. I will. I was going to say I'll throw in the eggs. <laughs> I, will, I will give you the eggs. I will place them gently in the egg house. This is a colossal if you, incentive. If you, <laughs> I love it. Talk about sincerity. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Okay. Tanya, what would you go for? I'm going to join Glenn. It's the suitcase. It's iconic. Suitcase. Yeah. Suitcase. Kate. Oh, well, I, and I'm going to fight Michael for the egg house, mm. but I have hens, so, you know, maybe that oh, will, will oh, allow lovely. me to get it because I can provide my own eggs. We've got an absolute classic example of suitcase versus egg house. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> shall we get yeah. on and play? See if yeah. Glenn can make it four in a row. Let's find out, shall we? Our first round today is... <laughs> the answers in the question. Glenn, I'll start with you. Um, your category is spices, so we're looking for a spice. I'll ask you a question. There will be some capital letters within the question, and the answer also happens to be an anagram of those letters. So your spice is this. I flavour puddings with this Chinese spice and pair them with a nice retzina, as both have a pleasing, sharp taste. What spice is that? Uh, it's gone completely over my head. Oh... Uh... I, I might have to pass this one. I, yeah. really, I really don't know. Should we time you out? Yeah, I don't know. Should time you out. Anybody else know that? Anagram of Ritzina as. Anyone at home? I think it's Star Anise. Oh, it is. I think. Oh, yeah. Star Anise is what we were looking for. That was the spice. It always sounds cool. Mm. I wouldn't know what it tasted like. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure we've all had it. Yeah. Michael, I have a spice for you. This colourful spice dents the wallets of its fans, for it can cost over six pound per gram. It's saffron. Saffron. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Tanya, I have a spice for you. Because of the compounds in this yellow spice, I call it Mr. Cure, although others' experience may, of course, vary. Mr. Cure, yellow spice. I know it's not mustard. Go through the yellow spices. Uh, it's an anagram of it, Mr. Cure. Turmeric? Turmeric. Yeah, well done. It is turmeric. Hey. Well done. Kate, a spice for you. I call pies flavoured with this berry my favourites, as they say it combines the taste of cinnamon, cloves and nutmeg. Oh. All spice. 
Oh, yeah. Is it all spice? Good. Girl. Well played. Yes. All spice, nicely done. Well done, anyone at home got four out of four. That was tough. Glenn, we go back to you. Okay. No more spices. Oh, thank God. Uh, animated characters now. Okay. okay. Which is okay, I can do that. Uh, which animated character is this, please? This family guy toddler is sweet. If firing off sarcastic bon mots is your idea of sweet. Uh, that's Stewie Griffin. Stewie Griffin? It is Stewie Griffin. That's but down low at my level. We'll take that. Yeah. Uh, Michael, I have an animated character for you. This character and his friend Muttley, a couple of tricky lads, add mischief to every car race they enter. Oh, um, I, this is the sort of wacky car race yes. thing, isn't it? You but know I, this I, one. I don't. No? No. Okay. Glenn, <laughs> sit back down. We're gonna, buzzer, we're gonna have a buzzer race between Kate and Glenn here. Glenn almost always wins. No, oh, always... I, I had my hand on it. There is <laughs> it's definitely rigged. What? Do you know what's so I funny? Was literally she doing was literally it hammering there. and Glenn went like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Glenn. Dick Dastardly. Dick Dastardly is absolutely right. <laughs> they call him the Glenn Moore of wacky races. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tanya. Yes. Uh, an animated character for you. This character's hairstyle, a beehive rather than more traditional perms, is among the most famous on TV. Uh, let me just make sure. Marge Simpson? Marge Simpson? Yes. Absolutely right. Well done, Marge Simpson. <laughs> Final question around is to Kate Humble. Kate, who is this animated character? It's a good thing this heroic toy never rested up or Spotty Man would have been left to deal with Texas Pete on his own. Mm. Oh, um... No. Should we time you out? Yeah. Anybody? Mm. Man. I'm just making an anagram out of it. Peter Stud. <laughs> <laughs> that is an animated character. Where's uh, somebody going to Glenn's laptop? Uh, <laughs> Peter Studd, it is not, I'm afraid. Good anagram, though. Um, well done at home if you, if you either knew it or you worked out an anagram uh, of Super Ted, is what we were looking for. <laughs> Super Ted. <laughs> very much, very much the Pete Stud of his day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that's the end of our first round. We were all off the mark. That's nice, isn't it? Nice to see. And here's how we're looking. Michael and Kate, you have one point each. Glenn <gasps> and Tanya, two points <gasps> each. Oh. Two it's a new day! day. <laughs> it's a new day. Let's play a pairs game. And for once, Tanya, you're not going to choose the partner today. Wow. What's going to happen? <gasps> uh, our pairs game is... <laughs> you complete me. Michael, would you like to choose a partner today? Uh, any, 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 mo, Kate. So, Tanya and Michael, if you will swap seats, please. See you on the other side. Yeah. We have Team Stand Up at the bottom here. We have Michael and Kate at the far end. In this round, fingers on buzzers, everyone. Every question will have a two-word answer. Okay. You buzz in and give me the first word of that answer, please, and I will ask your partner to give me the second word. And only if you get both of them will you score a point. So what is the first word of this answer, please? Mikey, Chunk, Sloth and Data are characters in which 1985 adventure film about friends searching for treasure? Yes, Glenn. The? Is correct. <laughs> Glenn, no! <laughs> 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 Why didn't you give the second word? <laughs> you see how this round works? <laughs> Chunk. Mikey Chunk and the okay, 1985 adventure film about friends searching for treasure. The... Say it to me. Oh, that's going to irritate me. You time me out? No, don't time me out. Pause me. You can go to them, but come back. <laughs> <laughs> go to them for the answer and then come back to you. Yeah. And I'll time you out, I'm uh, so irritated. Tanya. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyone on the other team want to buzz in on that? You can the, confer if you want. I don't know, the borrowers? Come on, guys. Goonies. The Goonies oh. we were looking for. It was the Goonies. <laughs> um, next question. First word of this answer, please. Okay. Which music act is this? Yes, Glenn. Daft. Vader. Correct. Oh, no! 
Wait, 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 no. wait, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Tanya, it is not Darth Vader. I'm wait, so no, sorry. Wait, no, don't say it, don't say it. I'm so it. sorry. It is not Darth Vader. Anyone oh on the other team? Oh, my God. It's Kate. A punk. Darth Punk, oh we were looking for. Oh, my God. I just cancelled my own career. Uh, I think it's OK. <laughs> I think a French electro music joke. Babes, yeah. honestly. No, I think everyone's going, this is how we get Glenn. <laughs> this is how we get him. Yeah. We knew there was a secret. Daft Punk, the answer there. Next question. Give me the first word of this answer, please. Which BBC news reporter began presenting Radio Force from our own correspondent in 1998? Yes, Michael. Kate? Kate. Uh, Kate? Aidy. Is the correct answer. Very well done. <laughs> Kate aiding Michael with Kate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fingers on buzzers, please. Give me the first word of this answer. Which Jacqueline Wilson character was first played by Danny Harmer in a children's TV series in 2002? I'm trying to remember her first name. Nobody. Tracy Beaker. Yay! Yeah. Oh. Oh. I knew Beaker, I couldn't get Tracy. It was Tracy Vader we were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What fish species is this? Yes, Kate. John. John is correct, Michael. Dory? Dory? Oh, how that? that is literally. A studio full of people going, what on earth is that fish? <laughs> Kate saying John and um, Michael going, I, th a f I think there's a fish called a John Dory. Exactly. Well played. That's great teamwork from both of you. Um, next question. What's the first word of this answer, please? Which chemical compound used as a bleaching agent has the formula H2O2? Yes, Kate. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct, Michael. Looking at the formula, dioxide. Hydrogen dioxide? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Anyone on the other team fancy it? Glenn. Fluoride? Fluoride? It is not. Kate, what do you think it is? Peroxide. Peroxide, oh, we're looking oh, for. Yes, Hydrogen cool. peroxide. Only blondes know the answer to that question. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you finished up with that. <laughs> Final question in this round. Named after one of their albums, what is the title of the jukebox musical based on the songs of the US band Green Day? Glenn. American. American is correct, <laughs> Tanya. What are we thinking? A, a band called American. No, 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 nope. it's Green, Green it's Day the, the band. Oh! And it's like a, a song and album of theirs, but they had a musical named after it. A Green Keep... Day jukebox musical based on a, I don't know, Should American band? American band? It's not American band. It is not, I'm afraid, anyone on the other team. Kate. I a guess. Um, songbook? It is not, I'm afraid, it is American... Idiot. Correct. American oh. Idiot we were looking for by Green Day, and that's the end of that round. Michael and Tanya, swap back, please. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> And let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? Tanya and Glenn have two points each. Michael and Kate, joint leaders on four points each. <laughs> Nicely done. Three rounds to go on this week's Redemption House of Games for returning players, all looking to win prizes and win that trophy. Our next round is... <laughs> Games House of. Now, in this round, you will have to give me the answers in alphabetical order. So, Kate, if I was to ask your name, you would say Humble Kate, if that makes sense. It does. So just give your answers in alphabetical order. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Or buzzers, fingers on. Here's your first question. My population, Colombo, is the largest city in which island country in the Indian Ocean? That is Michael Burke. Uh, Lanka Sri. Lanka Sri. Well played, Michael. Sri Lanka becomes Lanka Sri. Next one. Which actor co-wrote the sitcom This Country with her brother, Charlie? Uh, no one. I'm looking for Cooper Daisy May. That's what oh, I'm looking for. Daisy May Cooper becomes Cooper Daisy May. Next one. Who is this, please? Yes, Glenn. It's Bishop John. It is Bishop John. Yes, exactly who it is. <laughs> Uh, John Bishop becomes Bishop John. Next one. 
Set around 2,000 years ago, which 1970s rock opera by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice was made into a 1973 musical film? Yes, Kate Humble. And Coat. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Mm. Wrong, uh, wrong musical. Uh. The one you would have gone for, I was thinking, oh my God, this is going to be almost impossible. <laughs> 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 Can I do Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. We were looking for Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus Superstar, is what we were looking for. <laughs> um, next one. The protest that took place in a Massachusetts harbour on the 16th of December 1773 is known by what three word name? Yes, Michael. Uh, Boston Party Tea. Boston Party Tea? <laughs> it is Boston Party Tea. Boston Tea Party becomes Boston Party Tea. Next question. What is the title, please, of this song? Yes, Glenn. Entertain Let Me You. Well done. Entertain Let Me You. Let Me Entertain You by Robbie Williams. Final question in this round. Which six-word rhyme is commonly used as a memory aid for the fates of Henry VIII's wives? Good luck, Glenn. We all wish you well. Beheaded. Died. Incorrect, no. I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Yes, Tanya, good luck. Beheaded. Beheaded. Divorced. Oh, incorrect, oh! I'm afraid. Oh! Michael, good luck. Beheaded, beheaded, died, died, divorced, divorced. Incorrect. Oh, no, 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 Kate. <laughs> beheaded, beheaded, died, divorced, survived. Mm. That's I'm incorrect as well, I'm afraid. You missed a divorce. <laughs> what a way to get the same question wrong four times. So it was beheaded, beheaded, died, died divorced, 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 survived, survived. I'm afraid. A valiant effort by all four of you, though. <laughs> Very well done if you managed to get that at home. Fox just all here. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at what is done to our leaderboard with two rounds to go on Thursday's House of Games. Tanya has two, oh, Glenn, our three-time champion, has four. Kate also has four. Michael stood out in the lead with six oh. points. Hey, Michael. <laughs> two rounds between Michael Burke and Glory. Let's see <laughs> our next round, shall we? It is. <laughs> and the answer isn't. Glenn, I'm going to start with you. I'll give you a question with four possible answers. One is correct. The other three were written by Michael, Tanya and Kate. OK? <laughs> if you get it right, you score a point. If you choose one of theirs, you'll give them a point. Your question is this. In 2018, the Wall Street Journal reported that staff at Disney theme parks use the code HEPA cleanup if they detect anyone doing what? Is it having extreme puking accident? Mickey Mouse smoking behind the Thunder Mountain ride? Attacking the mascots? Scattering the ashes of loved ones? <laughs> That's Oh, now, good ones, realistically, there. it's going to be one and four. I have a friend who worked as Goofy at no. Disney World. And the puking, the code there is protein spill. <laughs> if, <That's> someone, <laughs> if someone defecates, it's fibre spill. No. So I think it's scattering the ashes of loved ones. Wow. So you're going to go scattering the ashes of loved ones. What do you reckon at home on this one? Has Glenn scored a point at a crucial time? Has he given away a point? Is the answer scattering the ashes of loved ones? It is wow. very well played. Very well played. Yeah. Um, well played to whoever wrote having an extreme puking accident. Who was that? Uh, it was me. That was <laughs> Kate. Mickey Mouse smoking. Me, I'm afraid. Was Michael. And attacking the mascots was Tanya. Very well played, Glenn. Nice point there. Michael, a uh, question for you with four possible answers. Will you score a point or give a point away? What name did the inventor Nathan Ames give to the prototype escalator he patented in 1859? Did he call it Angel Stairs? The Eternal Staircase? <laughs> That's grim. <laughs> revolving Stairs? Or Stairway to Heaven? Mm. All good, everybody. Mm. All good. Michael, what are we thinking? It was a fairly prosaic time, wasn't it? So Stairway to Heaven sounds a little bit... 
dreamily 20th century, doesn't it? Mm. Ditto the eternal staircase. I think I'm going for the, the, the most, the dullest, most prosaic <laughs> one, revolving stairs. You're going to go for revolving stairs. What do you reckon at home on this one? What would you go for? Has Michael scored a point? Is the answer revolving stairs? It is revolving stairs. Very nicely done. I think I might have gone for one of those first two. Um, Angel stairs was Tanya and the eternal staircase was Glenn and Kate with Stairway to Heaven. Good fake answers there, everyone. Well, well played, Michael. Um, Tanya, a question yes. for you with four possible answers. Let's go. Everybody trying to fool you. Hmm. What was the apt name of the player who won the main event at the World Series of Poker in 2003? Okay. Was it Chris Moneymaker, George Flush, Michael Folds, or win hand. <laughs> That's good. Good answers, everybody. That's really, really good, good answers. I don't think it's win hand. I feel like it could be Chris Moneymaker. But also, George Flush sounds like a real name. No, it doesn't. I'm thinking it's either one or three. Chris Moneymaker or Michael Folds. And I'm thinking I'm going to go... Chris Moneymaker. Chris Moneymaker. What do you think at home on that? Has Tanya just scored a point? Chris Moneymaker? That's the correct answer. Very well done. These are great wrong answers, mm. all three of you. I commend all three of you. George Flush was mm. Michael. Michael Folds was Glenn. And Kate was Win Hand. Mm. That's very good. And Kate, you have the last question of the round. In 2022, a fan named Joyce Figuero made headlines when she did what at a Metallica gig in Brazil while the band was performing Enter Sandman? Was it? Stormed the stage and officially announced her candidacy for the Brazilian presidency. <laughs> gave birth. Organised a flash mob. Or abseiled onto the stage wearing only three metal symbols. I won't say gave birth. I mean, it's so perfect while they're performing Enter Sandman. Oh, yeah. Um, and given that I have no idea, I'm going to go with gave birth. Going to go with gave birth? Yeah. What do we reckon on this one? You reckon Kate's got it right? Scored a point at a crucial time. Let's find out. Was the answer gave birth? <laughs> it was gave birth. <laughs> well done. Well done. Uh, Brazilian presidency, that was mm. Glenn. Oh, I think I'd have gone for that. Um, Organised a flash mob was Tanya and Michael was absent onto the stage wearing <laughs> only three metal symbols. That's specific. It it's very really specific. <laughs> it's that detail. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's why you mustn't eat cheese just before bedtime. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the round. We have one round to go. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. I think for once, Glenn is not in the lead going into mm -hmm. Answer Smash. Tanya, you have three points. Kate and Glenn have five points each. Michael Burke still out in the lead, seven points. Mm. Are we going to get a new winner? This is, this is the come up. He looks absolutely gutted to be leading by two, I have to say. <laughs> it's not a great position to be in, is it? It's so scary. Yeah. Uh, one round to go. We know what it is. Answer smash. Is Glenn going to make it four in a row? Are we going to have a new champion, a new winner, a new name redeeming themselves this week? Let's find out, shall we? Fingers on buzzers, point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer, and your first category is footwear. Which greeting is the title of UK number one hits by both Adele and Lionel Richie? Kate. Hellofers. Is it Hellofer? <laughs> That's good. It is. Well done, Hellofers. Hello, Loafers. Hellofers. Uh, next clue, next picture. In gymnastics, a reversed somersault is commonly known by what name? Yes, Kate. Flick, flat, flop. It is not, I'm afraid. <laughs> Tanya. Back flip flops. Back flip flop is absolutely yeah. right. Back flip flops. <laughs> Back flip, flip flops. I'm wearing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly Tanya's turned up. Um, next footwear. What is given to an employee as a record of payment and detailing the tax and insurance deducted? That is Tanya. Pay slippers? Pay slippers oh. 
It is pace slippers. <gasps> pace slippers. slippers. It's the hair. Well done. It's the hair. Next category is US police dramas. Oh, Those I'm will in. be the pictures. What is the first name of the artist who married John Lennon in 1969? Oh, my God. Yes, Kate. Yo Kojak. Yo Kojak. It is Yoko. Yes, I know Kojak. Yo Kojak. Uh, next question, next picture. Which comedy panel show first broadcast in 1993 was co-hosted by Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer? Yes, Glenn. Shooting Starsky and Hutch. Shooting Starsky and Hutch? <laughs> it is oh. Shooting Starsky and Hutch. It's two points between all of you right about now. OK, here we go. Which song was a UK number one hit for Kate Bush in 2022, almost 37 years after it first charted? What is that? Yes, that is Kate. Running up. That Hill Street Blues. Running up that Hill Street Blues is correct, oh. Kate. Running up that Hill, Hill Street Blues. Nice. Any more questions? We have no more questions. Oh, that's going to be close, isn't it? <laughs> on Monday, Glenn was our champion. On Tuesday, it was Glenn. On Wednesday, it was Glenn. Our champion on Thursday is... Going to a tie-break. <gasps> oh. Michael and Kate. A tie break. One final answer smash for the two of you to decide a new champion. Congratulations. Well played, everybody. Uh, what we'll do, we'll give you one final question. Uh, well, fingers on buzzers. If you give me a correct answer, you will be today's champion. If you give me an incorrect answer, your opponent will be today's champion. OK? Uh, our category for our answer smash tie break is rooms of a house. Those will be the pictures. So fingers on buzzers. Very best of luck, Michael. Very best of luck, Kate. Here's your question and your picture. Which title character in the Canterbury Tales is a woman named Adasoon who has had five husbands? <laughs> yes, that is Kate. Wife of bathroom. Wife of bathroom. Well done. Kate yeah! Umbo is our winner. Well done, Kate. <laughs> Nicely done. Redemption. Redemption. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> uh, and Kate, which of these prizes would you like? Uh, well, I am. I, I would love the egg house, but Michael, given that it was so close, you can borrow it for six months of the year. <laughs> oh, well, that's oh. nice. We have ourselves a tie break egg house. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Kate. Well played, Michael, as well. Then three wins in a row, but uh, a worthy tie break win today for Kate Humble. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. We have one day to go. Double points Friday tomorrow. Tanya with four, Kate with 11, Michael 12, Glenn 14. Looking good for Glenn, but it is double points. Eight points for a win, six for second and so on tomorrow. So we could still see a different name on that trophy. Um, great show. Thank you, everybody. Shall we do the final tomorrow? Yes. yes. I look forward to seeing you here. We'll see you here as well for the final of the House of Games. <laughs>